from Miami Beach, Florida, it's theCUBE, covering Acronis Global Cyber Summit 2019. Brought to you by Acronis. Okay, welcome back everyone. This is theCUBE's coverage here at the Acronis Global Cyber Summit 2019. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We're here at Miami Beach at the Fonda Blue Hotel for the second day. Excited to have this next guest on, Christian Garcia, Senior, uh, Vice President of Finance and Administration at the Schaffenhausen, Schaffenhausen <laughs> Institute of Technology. Did I get it right? Al almost right, Schaffenhausen Institute of Technology. Schaffenhausen. <laughs> so, Hi John. Welcome back, welcome to theCUBE, good to see you. Good to see you, thanks for having me here. Um, this tonight. is a really cool story because you guys are doing something very entrepreneurial right. with education. Right. Okay, inspired by the founder of Acronis exactly. as well. He's, got, he's made a lot of money in his day so he's doing some good things with it. Um, but this is an interesting opportunity. Could right. you take a minute to explain what um, the institute stands for? It's SIT for short. Yeah, so SIT actually, as a name, it says Schaffhausen Institute of Technology, so we are actually starting up a university in Schaffhausen. Schaffhausen is a beautiful, tiny city in Switzerland, 30 minutes, or 30 minutes from the Zurich Airport, which is the biggest airport in Switzerland, uh, close to Germany, uh, at the border with Germany, and uh, so that's kind of, we are in the center of Europe and that's where we plan to have our main campus. Now, let me um, tell you the story ha about the vision, about Sergei's vision on this, on this project. Um, he, he said that, you know, uh, he needs to have skills in 10 to 15 years time that nowadays uh, the institution starts and st d d d do, not, do, not, do not bring. Um, there is the need of computer scientists, there are not enough computer scientists, and uh, we are having emerging technologies, and this is something that provides us with tremendous opportunities, which we cannot even imagine nowadays uh, what type of opportunities. And to be on the forefront there, that's why we want to found this, or we have founded, the Schaffhausen Institute of Technology. Schaffhausen Institute of Technology just formed share the day, was it just two months ago, a couple it, months ago? It was, it was two months ago, where we, where we have started up the legal structure, and now we are really laying the foundation. We, we have the funds that are kind of secured for, for the next uh, 12 to 18 months, and um, we are, you know, defining the strategic advisory board, we are setting up uh, the curriculum for our students, and so it's everything up and running and to be defined. So this is right at the creation, present at creation, we are talking about this. This is, a, this is the origination story exactly. of the Schaffhausen Institute of Technology. Exactly. What's the vision? I mean, obviously, getting skills for jobs that are our century, our time, that exactly. haven't been taught in universities and before, I get exactly. that. But is it about being open, and what's the vision? Is it just Switzerland, is it going to be global? Can you just share what you guys are thinking? Sure, absolutely. So basically what we are trying to do is to design a curriculum in uh, computer science and physics, because we think that computer science represents the software, and physics represents the hardware. And these two things need to be combined in a entrepreneurial mindset or with an entrepreneurial mindset which um, means that we also want to foster the um, transformation process and the entire entrepreneurship. Now let me go back to the software part. Uh, our curriculum will cover um, software engineering, cybersecurity, that's why we are here today. Uh, the curriculum will also cover um, on the physics part, on the hardware part, we'll cover uh, quantum technologies, uh, quantum physics, and also new materials. Um, and this will be kind of the foundation that will build the curriculum for students, computer scientists to have physics, and physics to have computer science in their curriculum. So that at some point in time, they can come together and do research together. This is the digital transformation that we're talking about. The the intersection and the confluence of physical reality, a world that we live in, whether it's a baseball game or a soccer match, to the digital culture, they're not mutually exclusive anymore. Exactly. They're together. Exactly. And then the impact is profound. I can only imagine IOT, industrial IOT, airplanes, cars, electricity, Correct. electronic batteries, all these things. Correct. It's Correct. software and digital 
and physical material. Exactly. Is that exactly. what you guys are thinking? Exact, exactly that. And uh, actually, also considering the industry, talking to the industry, talking to chief information technology officers around the world to understand what their needs are uh, yeah. and what type of they believe of skills are needed in, in 10 to 15 years time. Yeah. And that's what we want to build up yeah. now to get ready well, for you that guys gotta transformation. Well, you guys got to go faster because there's jobs now, there's thousands of jobs right now in cybersecurity. There's thousands and thousands of jobs for provisioning cloud computing, Amazon Educate, we talk to them all the time. They just can't get the word out fast enough that hey, if you're unemployed, there's no excuse for being unemployed right now. There's so many new jobs but because someone didn't go to the linear school and exactly. you know, step by step over the years. Exactly. Now you could level up very quickly exactly. for certification, but you guys right. are taking a much more bigger idea around real kind of master's level. Is that what it is? Undergraduate, master's level? What's the level so, of, of, so of? Actually we, have, we are starting up this university and we have already uh, students that are at our or with our partner universities currently in Singapore with NUS and we'll then move to Carnegie and Mellie here in the US um, in order to have a dual, dual degree. So that's a unique opportunity to already start up with some presence uh, in, in education and uh, ultimately they will be then acquired so we hope uh, by, by, by the industry and yeah. to a terrific so career So the next there. Elon Musk is in there somewhere innovating with who knows what's next and, out there. And, and, and he is around there. The next so Sergey is out there too. Exactly, exactly. So just look at our, at our homepage, look at the curriculum, which we are currently defining now. Uh, that, would be, that would be great on SIT.org. Christian, take me through how it works. I know you're just starting, but as you guys look at the world, I mean, first of all, I can see the, I can see the attractiveness of a dual degree. Yeah. Because most kids get bored in college, they're freelancing anyway, they're learning on their own, I get that. But I can, so I want, so as you guys start building it out, what's going on, what's going, how does it work? What are you guys doing, you recruiting? Take us through the, the factory of work that needs to get done, <laughs> if you will. What's the workflows look like? What's happening right now? So currently, I mean, um, we, we are talking about the university because we, we have students and we want to have students and we want to have the best talents uh, globally available and that's why we are building an institution that attracts those talents and this is kind of the first priority to have to have the talents to get the talents to get students come to to, to SIT and obviously the second part is as well talking to the CIOs and CTOs and to understand what are the needs in 10 to 15 years uh, as an outcome of this digital transformation. I mean, the, the world is computerized. Uh, as you just mentioned before, there are not enough computer scientists currently available. So four out of five companies uh, in, in, in Switzerland actually, and also globally, are, are lacking uh, 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 of computer scientists and they understand, you know, uh, what the digital transformation means. And that's something that we really try to understand as well to build up the curriculum. What's the timeline of starting with students? Is it right away? Do you have a location? Is there a building? I mean, give us a timeline. When does classes start? When do you start bringing people in? Is it happening now? I mean, Absolutely. So, so actually, currently we are we are hunting at at uh, at some campus locations, looking at some campus locations in Schaffhausen, where our main campus will be will be located. Um, at the, at, the, at the same time, we are really building building structure. So we are uh, appointing the strategic advisory board, will be, which will direct uh, the curriculum of the university, um, and and which is represented already by uh, very uh, uh, um, great scientists. One of them, the president of the strategic advisory board, being Professor Dr. Novoselov, which is a no Nobel Prize winner, uh, and which actually brings in uh, that that new ma new material uh, um, uh, science in our physics uh, curriculum. So that's another thing that we are currently trying to do to build up the governance, appropriate governance. A third element that we are looking at is also to attract uh, industries, uh, companies that sponsor the students and that's actually an attractive ecosystem that we are trying to build up to combine science, education mm -hmm. and also entrepreneurship and business in order to yeah. foster it. Which means that we are looking at the campus, 
we are setting up a research center, and I'm talking about two, three years down the line, the research center, and then also a tech park where we can commercialize uh, the innovation that the science brings, brings in. So all in all, we really aim to have a closed ecosystem and self-sustaining ecosystem, hopefully, uh, that we are going to establish. It's a really big idea, congratulations. It's bold, it's Thank big, you very much. and it's relevant. Absolutely. So I got to ask you the question, how do you finance all this? Who's paying for it? So the, Tell the, us the, how it gets funded. It, it's very important, otherwise we couldn't start up with <laughs> such a tremendous pace. Uh, actually, the vision is, is, is from Sergei Belusov, uh, founder and CEO of Acronis. Um, he he's, a, has actually secured the initial funding of the institution, and now really we need to have more partners on board in order to make this self-sustaining educational top-edge educational system, system uh, sustainable. Is it going to be tuition-based or scholarship-based? Have you guys thought about that um, in terms of students? It will be tuition-based. Okay. Uh, that's a classical classical model, okay. at, least, at least in Switzerland. And obviously, to get the industry sponsoring students in order to also down the line employ them later on, that would be the ideal situation. Nice vision for Sergey and nice gesture. But you got to look at what his business is doing. They right. created a category called cyber protection. Exactly. He can, the benefit to him is more candidates, no physics, edge. So why not incubate Absolutely. this? It's a great vision. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. a win-win. Absolutely, and, and we all believe in that. The entire um, you know, startup team believe in that vision. That's where we are here and building up this institution. Well, when you need to go global, we'll be in Silicon Valley and waiting for you guys to come there and collaborate with us there? I, I, I hope, I hope that, that, that that happens because we want to complement each other. As yeah. I mentioned, computer scientists are needed globally yeah. and obviously also in the Silicon Valley, and why not? I think the collaboration aspect is going to be a big part of the growth as you guys get settled in on the, the first use case in, in Schevenhausen. Exactly. You know, and get that built out. But I think with digital technologies, I think there'll be a great collaboration. Bring Absolutely. some good talent in as faculty and it, and advisors. Exactly. Get the flywheel going. Exactly. Congratulations. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thanks Sharon. for having me here. The education game is changing with modernization of a global impact of technology for good. You're seeing the landscape of innovation hit education. This is another great example of it. Super proud to interview. Thanks for coming on and sharing the insights. The world continues to evolve. Of course, theCUBE is there watching every turn. I'm John Furrier here in Miami Beach for the Crohn's Global Cyber Summit 2019. Back with more coverage after this short break.